Hey there! Welcome to today's tutorial. Let's get started! In this tutorial, we will learn how to build a fully functional digital multimeter using an Arduino. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced maker, this project will help you understand the fundamentals of electronics and how to measure key electrical parameters like voltage, current, resistance, and capacitance. By the end of this video, you will have your very own DIY multimeter that you can use for your projects. Let's get started. First, let's talk about what a multimeter is. A multimeter is an essential tool for anyone working with electronics. It is used to measure various electrical parameters, such as voltage, current, resistance, capacitance, and sometimes even inductance. There are two main types of multimeters, analog and digital. Analog multimeters use a needle to display readings, while digital multimeters show values on an LCD or LED screen. Additionally, multimeters can be categorized as auto-ranging or manual. Auto-ranging multimeters automatically select the appropriate measurement range based on the input signal. For example, if you are measuring a voltage that could be anywhere from 0 to 100 volts, the auto-ranging multimeter will detect the voltage level and automatically switch to the correct range, such as 0 to 10 volts, 0 to 50 volts, or 0 to 100 volts. This makes auto-ranging multimeters very user-friendly, especially for beginners, as you don't need to worry about selecting the correct range manually. However, they are typically more complex and expensive due to the additional circuitry and software required for automatic range selection. On the other hand, manual multimeters require you to select the measurement range manually. For example, if you are measuring a voltage, you need to choose a range such as 0 to 10 volts, 0 to 50 volts, or 0 to 100 volts based on your estimation of the voltage level. If the range is too low, the multimeter might display an overload or error. If the range is too high, the measurement might not be as precise. Manual multimeters are simpler in design and more affordable, but they require a bit more knowledge and experience to use effectively. In this video, we will focus on building a digital multimeter using an Arduino. Our multimeter will measure voltage, current, resistance, and capacitance. To understand how this works, let's briefly discuss how these parameters are measured. Voltage is measured by connecting the multimeter in parallel with the circuit. Current is measured by placing the multimeter in series with the circuit and using a shunt resistor or a Hall effect sensor, like the ACS712, to calculate the current based on Ohm's law or magnetic field detection. Resistance is measured by applying a known voltage across the voltage divider, that one of its resistor is known and measuring the divided voltage across unknown resistor. Capacitance is measured by charging and discharging the capacitor through a known resistor and calculating the capacitance based on the time constant. First of all, you should install the Arduino IDE software on your computer. It is a user-friendly software for programming these kind of microcontroller-based development boards. You can find the download link in the video description. Now, let's talk about what you will need to build this multimeter. The main component is an Arduino Uno, which will act as the brain of our multimeter. You will also need an LCD display to show the measurements a breadboard for connecting components, jumper wires, resistors for creating voltage dividers and shunt resistors, capacitors for testing, diodes for protection, and an ACS712-5 Ampere Hall effect sensor for current measurement. A detailed list of all components is available in the description below. Once you have gathered all the components, we can start building the multimeter. The first step is to create a voltmeter. To measure voltage, we will use a voltage divider circuit to safely measure voltages up to 55 volts. The voltage divider consists of two resistors, R1 and R2, connected in series. Let's talk about the voltmeter code. 
The Arduino reads the analog voltage at pin A0, which is in the range of 0 to 5 volts. The scaling factor of 55 divided by 1023 is used to convert the analog reading to the actual voltage. This is because the voltage divider reduces the input voltage by a factor of 11. Then it will divide it by 5, which is analog reference voltage of Arduino Uno. And it multiplied by 1024. That comes from the Arduino's 10-bit ADC, which converts analog voltages to values between 0 and 1023. If we go this way reversely, you will get real measured voltage from 10-bit ADC value like I did here in my code. Keep in mind to always average the analog readings. Here you can see that I am averaging 20 analog inputs. The way to do this is to add the values together and then divide by 20. Next, we will build an ammeter to measure current. There are two ways to measure current. The first method uses a shunt resistor placed in series with the load. The voltage drop across the shunt resistor is proportional to the current flowing through it. The Arduino measures the tiny voltage drop across the shunt resistor, just like I said in previous section. The second method for measuring current involves using an ACS712-5 Ampere Hall effect sensor. This sensor detects the magnetic field generated by the current flowing through a conductor and outputs a voltage proportional to the current. The ACS712 is connected to the Arduino's analog pin A1. The code reads the sensor output and calculates the current using the following formula, which is typically 0.185 volts per ampere for the 5 ampere version. This method is non-invasive and provides accurate current measurements without the need for a shunt resistor. Now let's move on to the creation of an ohmmeter to measure resistance. This is done by placing the unknown resistor in a voltage divider circuit with a known resistor. The Arduino will measure the voltage across the unknown resistor and use the following formula. In my code, I used three resistors. Among them, we use the most suitable resistor to measure the unknown resistance more accurately. One of their ends is connected to one of the pins of the unknown resistor, and the other end of each of them is connected to one of the pins four to six of the Arduino. By applying a logical high level to each of these pins, the Arduino can select its known resistance. With this setup, you can measure resistances ranging from 10 ohms to 500 kilo ohms. After that, we will build a capacitance meter. This involves charging and discharging the capacitor through a known resistor and measuring the time it takes for the capacitor to charge or discharge. The Arduino's ADC is used to measure the voltage on capacitor and then we measure the time taken in order to capacitor be charged to 63% of 5 volts, that is 3.15 volts, or 645 at 10-bit ADC output. This time is called time constant. Then, the capacitance is calculated using the following formula. This gives the capacitance in microfarads. After the measurement of capacitance completed, capacitor must be discharged. It will be done through discharging resistor connected to pin 8 of Arduino. Finally, we integrate an LCD display to show all the measurements. The liquid crystal library is used to interface the LCD with the Arduino. The display shows the voltage, current, resistance, and capacitance values in real time. The code initializes the LCD, sets the cursor position, and prints the measured values. The wiring and code for this step are straightforward, and once everything is connected, you will have a fully functional digital multimeter. As I said before, you can average multiple readings to reduce noise. For example, take three analog readings and divide the sum by three. You can also use the internal 1.1 volt reference for small voltage measurements by calling analog reference internal. For auto ranging, you can add code that switches shunt resistors or voltage dividers based on the measured value. You can also use the internal 1.1 volt reference for small voltage measurements by calling analog reference internal. 
For auto ranging, you can add code that switches shunt resistors or voltage dividers based on the measured value. In conclusion, building a digital multimeter with Arduino is a great way to learn about electronics and measurement techniques. This project not only teaches you how to measure electrical parameters, but also gives you a deeper understanding of how multimeters work. You can further enhance this project by adding features like auto ranging, inductance measurement, or even a 3D printed case. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting projects. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. Happy making! For more details, schematics, and the complete code, check out the Electropeak tutorial linked in the description.